very um it's very windy right now but hey people got kites out that's pretty cool and the old boats out there uh, definitely gonna have a big storm well, over there I, I saw lightning two or three little zaps over there nice little area I was just here the other day actually actually I come out here this is about one one mile from my where I live so I just get out of here and scooter sometimes just after going to the gym just to walk around a little bit and um, just uh, do my thing really um, but yeah, it's definitely the wind is really strong, so that means it's going to storm. And looking at it around here, with a little bit of rain going on, I'm going to say 30 minutes. Looks like an onion bag or something. Nah, uh, yeah that. But as you see, all the the what do you call those? Like the the, the chairs that people sit in, they're all closed up. So they the locals know it's going to rain like that. Also, it's four o'clock, so you know. Oh, but what about that, hey? Yeah. It's just... I was just thinking... You know, the, the only... I went to a place in Miyazaki that... In Japan, Miyazaki, Ken. Near, like, the Aoshima years ago boy I just thought about that I went there in 2009 that's 15 years ago and I can remember it like it was yesterday I went there in summer with somebody it was the most beautiful feeling but the wind was like this but I remember it was sunny but um, really missed that place. My one regret is that I left Kagoshima. I didn't leave because of my own my own choice. It was a medical choice, really. Just wish I never had to leave there. Um, Yeah, I got this feeling, you know, when I went to Miyazaki, like like here. But the difference is that um, number one, I, I understood what people were talking about in Japan, and um, everything was well maintained and well designed, and it was upright. And you didn't see rubbish on the beach or anything. You know, it's just a clean, well-respected place. And I know things have changed there now um, in Japan, but got little kids playing, making sandcastles. Yay, lots of fun. Should never have left Japan. You know. I remember I was I went to a friend's. Her name was Eddie, E R I. She's only four foot. She was four foot nine. I went to. Her brother's home once, which was near the uh, near a beach in, in Kagoshima, and um, he had this house made totally of wood, 
and of course glass windows but it was just um, handcrafted it's absolutely stunningly beautiful and you just can't you, you just can't find it anywhere anywhere else and if people tell you they can you, you can't it has to be in that exact position that exact location that exact Japanese uh, I think it was uh, the Japanese wood it was just beautiful um, that, that uh, Japanese uh, pine you know but the th yeah it just it just looks good there we go We've got some sailing going on over there Bikes just up here a little bit. But I was just. I just remember being in that house and I was just like, wow. This. And, be, and the reason is, is it was very close to the water too, and you got that breeze like you get here, which I get from my, my apartment here in, in Pattaya. You know, I get that breeze as well, but it's, a, it's just different. You know, you. If, if people tell you you can replicate something somewhere else you can't I don't think you can do it it's always there's something different about it and uh, um, so, so you know you can't take maybe that apartment over there or that, that hotel building or something and you can't put that in Kagoshima and say it's the same experience it's just not you know you can go to the Gold Coast the, the beach is amazing and everything and uh, even on a hot you know humid day like well, it's not really humid here but it's definitely um, a windy and warm day you'd say it's probably 30 degrees 28 28 to 30 now you have the same kind of temperature over there the same humidity and the same look but it will have that difference and you can't no matter what there's no amount of money or there's no amount of development there's no amount of changing things that you can actually replicate it's totally different oh the transformers buzzing that doesn't sound too good I just really miss that country Japan thing you know, it's just real special can't replace it with anything and I wish I was still there like I wish I could go back 15 years and I wish I could you know I was thinking about it the other day you know. just wish I could go back anyway where's my motorcycle just up there even though it's beautiful here today it's a beautiful feeling yeah. you just can't really get all these people going on so you got all this stuff where's my bike that's not it over there you know look at this you're not going to see this in any other place in the world this is you know it's here in, in the beach of Jomtien not Pattaya Pattaya is up that way but um you're not going to see those same flags the same size you're not going to see same covers on those boats you can't really replicate it and um well sandcastle there you go it's 
of sort of a thing you can't do. You can't replicate anything. It's everything's unique. You know that that this square meter of sand right here is going to be different to this square meter of sand over here. Yeah. Nice little dark spot. Nice trees for kids to play off. So what a nice little spot this is.